Hey Jackals fans, Billy the Bat Boy here with your Jackals pregame report. Last night, the Jackals dropped their second straight game to Sussex County by a score of 12 to 2. Here's the Jackals pitcher Evan DeLuca has to say about bouncing back today against the Miners. I think the biggest thing that we have to take into account is that this is a long stretch. We're going on, I think, 13 games in a row now from this point on for, uh, for a couple of weeks. I think guys are just a little tired, a little mentally fatigued and stuff. I think it comes back down to just continuing to have a solid approach at the plate which I know guys go up there with, but sometimes it's a lot easier said than done. Executing at bats, executing pitches as pitchers. I think if we stick to our game plan and just continue to uh, overcome these obstacles that we have since the beginning of the season, I think um, a game like tonight, we just got to go out there with the same simple focus and it's just strike one for pitchers and just attack the strike zone. And for hitters, go out there and just continue to have productive at bats and just play the game hard. And if we can do that, I think we're going to be able to come out on top and uh, deliver a loss for these guys. They've been pitching well. They've been playing well. We just got to find a way to continue to grind out at bats and just continue to have complete games. If we do that, I think uh, nobody can beat us. That's my opinion. Going into tonight's game, the Jackals are currently 26-26, and 26, fifth in the Can-Am League. Tonight, the Jackals will send right-hand pitcher Mariel Checo to the hill to face Sussex County's Corey Jones. Following tonight's game, the Jackals will set off the post-game fireworks show. I'm Billy the Bat Boy, and that's your Jackals pre-game report.